It's very important for me because I started out as the Robert Ory Foundation. I wanted to get exactly what we were doing was, was caring for kids with disabilities and helping parents out who couldn't afford medical bills because when my daughter was first born, she was in the hospital for the first six months of her life. Her name was Ashlyn Ory and I wanted to transition from my foundation and roll it into her name and Ashlyn Ory Foundation. And it's just, we try to reach out and help people as much as possible. Uh, we do a lot of stuff with the Ronald McDonald House in Houston, Texas and Texas Children's because like I said, when my daughter was born, we saw a lot of parents abandon their kids because they couldn't afford the medical bills. And I'm like, and I woke up one day and said, thank God for the NBA because my medical bills were extraordinary. And if it wasn't for the NBA, I wouldn't have been able to afford them. So we just try to help people with medical bills. We try to help families not, um, with the knowledge of what my daughter had and what other parents are dealing with because for a number of years, her, her syndrome when I, when I misdiagnosed. It was a lot of kids passing away because they got misdiagnosed. You know, my daughter was very fortunate. She lived for 18 years. You know, they didn't expect her to live past two. And she had what was called 1P36 deletion syndrome, which just had, it's, it's only been had a name for five years. And so we just try to try to do a lot of stuff with parents and to help them get the word out, to uh, help with different um, knowledge about the, the syndrome because there's a lot of parents who think they're alone uh, and and you just get out there and put the word out and help them with certain situations like for instance a lot of the kids who have this syndrome they buck and I mean when they get in the chair they buck and you have to do certain things to remedy that and like what works for my daughter might not work for your daughter but this other person who has another another remedy so I could go on and on about that, but it's just transition now. It's the Ashenoy Foundation.org, and I just do a lot of stuff for them to just try to help parents and those kids who, who have this syndrome.